Now our Assistant Dean with Purdue Over Diversity and Alumni Affairs, Dr. Marinda Wilson-Pham, will introduce our Distinguished Alumnus Awardee. Marinda. Good morning. It is a great honor and privilege to be here today to celebrate such an accomplishment along your pathway of success. Here at GSBS, we are defined by the accomplishments of our students and our alumni. So, it is with great honor that I introduce the 2016-2017 GSBS Distinguished Alumnus, Dr. David Smith. After receiving Dr. Smith's CV, it wasn't difficult to determine why he was selected by the Alumni Steering Committee as this year's Distinguished Alumnus. Dr. Smith is a visionary leader in the field of glycobiology. He is currently Professor of Biochemistry at Emory University's School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. He also serves as the Director of the Emory Comprehensive Glycomics Corps. His academic career in science is one of success, from his start as assistant professor to his rise to the ranks as professor in the departments of biochemistry at Virginia Polytechnic Institute, the University of Georgia, and today at Emory. Not surprisingly, he is well-funded, conducts cutting-edge research, has authored close to 200 manuscripts and most importantly, has mentored 12 junior scientists throughout his tenure as faculty member at said institutions. Three of his former mentees currently hold the titles of Vice President of Nutrition and R&D, Associate Professor, and Senior Research Scientist. To highlight one of the reasons why he was chosen as one of today's speakers, I'll start by saying that Dr. Smith earned his Bachelor of Science in Chemistry from Texas Lutheran University in 1967. After conducting summer research at MD Anderson Cancer Center, he went on to earn his Master's in 1969 and Doctorate in 1972 from GSBS in the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Program in the laboratory of Dr. Earl Wolberg. During his time in Houston, he authored multiple papers, was the recipient of the American Cancer Society Predoctoral Fellowship, and the Rosalie B. Height Predoctoral Fellowship for Cancer Research. Now, what is interesting about Dr. Smith's career path is that his success in academia often read in success in tandem to his success in industry. He served as the vice president for research, a director, founder, and business manager, to name a few, in multiple biotech companies, and is now the co-founder and president of Mac Glycan. He currently holds four patents two, and has two patents pending, has served as a major scientific consultant for industry and biotechnology in, uh, issue, issues for a number of companies such as Merck, Abbott, and Perigo Nutritionals. Dr. Smith's career is one that highlights the importance of following your passion and forging your own path, which is why, regardless of whether he worked in industry or academia, his success has remained constant. So please help me to welcome Dr. David Smith, our 2016-2017 GSBS Distinguished Alumnus. GSPS Alumni Steering Committee, along with Dean Barton and Dean uh, Blackburn, for selecting me to be the 2016-2017 Distinguished Alumnus. I'm aware of the quality and accomplishments of the previous recipients of this award, and I feel extremely honored to have my name placed in this elite group of scientists and physicians. And I also want to thank Miranda, Amanda Williamson and Cheryl Spitzenberger for making my visit yesterday with the GSBS such a wonderful experience. It was genuine Texas hospitality, 
and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. And like the Texas Medical Center, the GSBS has grown up, really grown up. Congratulations. There's not much here that I recognize compared to when I arrived here in 1967. I arrived as a summer science trainee with absolutely no idea of what to expect from a graduate education in biomedical sciences. The GSBS was only about four years old. When classes began in the fall of that year, we were greeted with Dr. Burr Furlong's Physical Sciences and Biological Sciences core programs in the core curriculum. Now, this was an interesting experiment in graduate education back in the early 60s. As students were, we as students were somewhat frustrated with having to read and study over such broad topics instead of the typical coursework programs that we were used to. But for me, this was an excellent career preparation. I was a chemist at heart. And I had become fascinated with structural carbohydrate chemistry. Earl Walberg, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today, was the only member of the GSPS faculty working in this area, and I became his first graduate student. Instead of entering a more, or following a more popular path of biochemistry into molecular and cell biology, I entered the glycobiology area which is now called glycomics. And it's gratifying to see the biomedical community beginning to recognize and appreciate the role of glycans in normal physiology and disease. And those of us who are practicing in this area are really expected to have a broad understanding of biomedical sciences. <clears throat> the trend to expect a broader understanding of other specialized areas will certainly expand, and I'm pleased to hear that the graduate school has returned to a core curriculum concept. It should serve you well. And Dr. Furlong, I hope you're pleased. <laughs> Finally, I want to say to you, I'm graduates in the class of 2017, congratulations to you, to your families, spouses, partners, and friends who have supported, uh, who have supported you through your journey. Uh, I understand completely what that support is. I would have not made it if my wife hadn't been with me all these years. You have accomplished something very special, and new adventures lie ahead for you. And as you move forward in the basic sciences, in medicine, in industry, administrative re responsibilities, or whatever you do, I simply want to challenge you to be true to the fundamentals you have been taught by this faculty. Be sure that your data are sound and well controlled. Base your hypotheses or your visions on that data. That is, resist selecting data to support your hypotheses. And as you test these hypotheses and your vision for the future, be the slowest to believe what you most want to believe. And with that, I say congratulations. Best wishes to you all, and thank you for allowing me to be part of this.